So what we want to do now is the edit form. So instead of reusing this form for editing a specific answer here. So we need to add another action here, another button that when clicked will show the form pre-filled with the information of this specific answer. So if we click here, we will see the form with this date, with this not a million year, etc, etc, etc. Okay? So, the first things we need to do is add another icon here first, because otherwise we don't have another button here, because otherwise we don't have the the possibility to open the form. Hmm? So, we need to go in uh, Answer Actions and add another button. Hmm? Uh, let's say Primary and uh, And let's ignore the on click for now. And uh, let's use this icon that is not plus, but is called pencil square. And let's change this plus in actually some arrow since we have the add already. And this button with the on click will for sure show the form. That's something that for sure we'll need to do. So, um, props.set show form true. And we need to be sure that um, we pass this property. Set show form, answer actions, answer row, answer row. So here we need to pass down this, what is, this set show form from here to the button because we we want to press this button and open the form. So we need to, to decide where to open the form, pressing this button. So we need to pass here this, this information. So let me move all these, this state from here to answer table and you will understand why so I will just move everything we have done but instead of doing in answer we will do just one level down and similarly we will create this after the table so just copying and paste what we did here And then we need a empty div because it's one child only. Okay. So something like this. No. Okay. So I just move down things and then we need to pass the set show form. And we still have answers. I'm checking that we have all the information that we need. Yes. 
Mm. So nothing changed because we have the same information here than in the previous level. We just need to pass the set show form to the row here. Set show form. Set show form. So that so in the in the row and in action. And in action we have ears, prop set show form. So let's try if it's working. Okay, so if I click here, I open the form. Clearly it's not yet what we want. And then if we click cancel, we go back to the previous version. So I just move everything down and now you, you will understand why in a while. Um, and added the button. So what do we need to do now? So when I click the button, I need to open the form and pre-fill the form with the information in the specific row. This is something that we are not yet doing. So when I click this, here should appear yes, here should appear Luca, and we don't have the score because we cannot edit the score. The score is something that everybody else can edit and we have a date that we can optionally edit. But if I click at the fourth table, the fourth row, I should see the content of the, show, the, fourth, the fourth row. Mm -hmm. So we need a way to pass the answer to the form. Mm -hmm. The specific answer to the form. And we need to prefill the form with those information. So not empty at the beginning when it comes from here, not empty. But when it came from here, from add, it should be empty. So we are using the form to do two things. Add should appear like it is, but if I arrive here from here, it should be prefilled. Hmm? And I should preserve a bot functionality. So how can I, how can we pass the answer to the form? Where we can store the answer to, to be moved from one row to, to the form, that is with another component. And back, because when we submit the form, we need to, to update. In a props. Yeah, we need to pass it to a props, clearly. So, Where we have the answer? We have the answer is in the answer row, right? And actually also in the answer table, because here we have the single answer. And we need to pass this answer to this form. That's why I put it here, because we need to pass this answer to this form here. So if this form is in the upper component, we need to go up one level, but instead this is easier because we are in the same a component that is is answer table. So, what we need to do? We need to pass the answer to the form. So this form here should receive somewhere, let's say after the ED, a props that is answer. The answer that when we edit will be the answer clicked by the button, but in normal case it will be empty because we need to add an answer, so it can, we cannot pass any answer. 
So what we can use to, to change this, to, to pass the right answer in both cases? A state. Mm -hmm. And we can call it, so we can go here and we can say const editable answer. Just, on this, just to remember that is a different answer than the one in the table. So it's a temporary answer. And we can initialize it to, to what? Which is the initial value of the set uh, editable answer. A new empty answer or just nothing. No. Hmm? Just just like this. Like this is undefined. Hmm? So it's empty. So we can initialize it by, by default in this case. So now we need to fill up this editable answer from the button and um, add it and pass it to the form. So well, let's do first the button. So in the single, what is the button? The button is in answer action. So answer action receives, uh, in this moment already receives an answer through the ID. We can say, okay, I don't want the ID. Let's just pass the entire answer. Because otherwise we need to pass the ID and the answer. But since the answer has the ID inside, we can just simplify and say, okay, let's pass it just the answer and then we will get the ID in the answer action. So in the answer action, we will need to change and get the ID. So here, because now we have the entire answer. And in this on click also, we need not only to set show form, but we also need to set the editable answer hmm? because this is the answer that we want to edit. So props.set editable answer and is props.answer, which is the specific answer we are clicking on that button because every row will have a different. Um, yes, and clearly there is an error, so let's stop this. Um, we need to, to pass the answer to be editable. So we set this, we should check that set editable answer is uh, passed through as a props, which is not, so we need to. So set editable answer equal props dot set editable answer. This is answer row and here we need to set editable answer equal props dot set editable answer. Hmm? So, and we pass the editable answer up to, we define, hmm? we get, well, the editable answer from this button and we store it um, in, the, in the state that was the parent between the row and the form. So when we click, it, click the button, set editable answer, in theory, the correct answer is reported here. Okay, this is not props. Okay, so this is not a props. This is actually the set editable answer that is defined in this component. Mm -hmm. So we have everything, we pass it to a props, etc. Now we need to pass the set, the editable answer to the form. Mm -hmm. That in the case of add will be empty and in the case of edit will be the answer that we want to edit. And now, 
we need to tell the form that it needs to be prefilled with the um, the correct answer hmm? because we want and now I think that we can run it it shouldn't be any error anymore we want that when we press add it will be empty but when we press this we want here to appear the answer hmm? so how who fill this field at the beginning where are those fields initialized when the form is created you state that currently initialize as empty so if we want to initialize with the data that we get from edit what we can write here instead of this dot text you're saying uh, actually we call it answer I think uh, answer so it's not but by the way is that one hmm? so this is correct in the case of edit but this is give an error in case of a new form because we are reusing the form right so we initialize the editable answer to an empty use state, undefined, and we cannot access the text property of an undefined object because there is no text property on an undefined object. So this will work with edit, but will not work in the normal add empty f form. So how can we fix it? Instead of an undefined state, you create a, an, empty. an empty answer. But still, an empty answer, we need to create an empty answer with, not empty, with strings instead of. Instead of creating an object that we are not going to, to use because we don't, because then we, we create another answer, right? So it's one more answer. What can we do here? What we should say here? We should say if prop answer is undefined then empty string empty like we have now otherwise pick the text hmm? so we can say props dot answer question mark prop dot answer text otherwise empty string hmm? and we can do the same for name and date This will guarantee that in one case with work, uh, name and date. Hmm? And instead in the new case will be empty. Hmm? Okay, so now let's assume that this is uh, fully correct. And let's go down. So this, see? What happens if I click here, if I click the first one, it opens with the right information. So this information is passed, except for date. Why? Sorry? Yeah, we need to provide the date in a very specific format that is four digit, digit for the year, month, month, day, day. So in this case, we cannot just pick the date here as coming here from DJS that has its own format where we need to format it in a, the specific way in which any date input component also in HTML will need. That is year, 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 years, minus month, month, minus day, day. Hmm? So how can we, so we cannot use date like this. We need to format it. And this is a DJS object. So how can we format a DJS object? And 
we can give the right format month month day day and we need to import the js I mean, we, we, we don't need to, but we can also. So in this case, you see the date is perfect. And since we are using the JS, why, why we cannot use the JS also for putting a date here since we didn't have validation and we had this invalid date. So instead of providing an empty string here, we can say we can put today the JS dot format and the right format and this will give us the current date so in this when we press add at least we see the current date as default and then we can always change it clearly to whatever date we want but at least we present we avoid the invalid date issue by providing a default and instead of doing any validation after checking if the date is undefined or empty string, we provide a valid default. Because if you, answer, if you add an answer today, it makes sense that the date is today. So it's a valid default for, for this form. Okay, so since we have the JS here, we can use it also for the, um, for the date. So now, when we go here, we press, we change, let's say, add something in the answer, and we press add. When we press add, so do we need to change anything in the form? Do we need to change anything in the form? No. Indeed, it worked, because I can write things, so it's still, it's still working. What happens when I press add? I call the end of submit and the end of submit will create a new answer with a new ID uh, with a score of zero and will add the answer. So here we need to change things, right? Because we, this is the creation. We need to update now. So how do we, can we do this? What do we change here? Because we have, a, we have two problems here. One, well, we are not doing an answer. We need to do props.update answer and we need to create it. So we need to say in one case it's an answer, in the other case it's update. But we have other problems like the id it should be plus one in the case of adding but not in the case of updating because it's already as an id and the score is not zero is the score that we have in the answer so it could be 10 so we cannot create it to zero so we need here to pass a score for the update since it's the same method. So how can we reconciliate the thing? Because we have the add case in which we don't have an ID and the score is zero. And we have the update case in which we have an ID and we have a score that we cannot change. And we have one method to put things together. How? Checking for what? Checking for what? But that means that we, we need to know if we click here or we click the button here. And this information, we don't have this information in the form, right? Because this is one button. so. Cannot be that the screen. I mean, can be, but it's very complicated to bring this event uh, or this event here inside the form since they are outside of the component. Okay, 
and then we have add update and cancel uh, but it's the same I mean if we if we have this information here we can either show the button or directly handle it in the in the end of submit so the point is do we need to bring this information the event of clicking here or clicking here in the form to render the button or to or to do the if or we already have this information without bringing the event we check if answer is no. exactly this check here this same check that we're doing to initialize the state is the check that we can use in the end of submit because this is discriminate between uh, an answer that already exists as an empty answer so this props answer is the one we can use also here to discriminate hmm? so for instance here we can write if props.answer hmm? if prop.answer it's an update else it's an add for instance Or we can say if prop.answer is undefined, then it's an add, otherwise an update, if you want to preserve the original order. But the same. So now we can move this last ID. So we can create two new answer, one in the case of the update and one in the case of the, of the, of the add. So we can duplicate this row, changing the thing. But duplication is never nice. So, if we want to avoid duplication, because we can do something like this. We can do something like this. It's not that we cannot. But it's 90% the same line and if we change the structure of answer we need to go manually change both line and they are logically the same things I want to create a new answer so how can I avoid the duplication we can create a new state with ID a score so even if those things are not used in the form, we can keep track in the component for that. So instead of having this, we can go back to this version, put here ID and put here score that we are going to take from the state and we can create a new state ID set ID we will never set the ID actually use state and same things props dot answer question mark props dot answer dot ID otherwise props dot last ID plus one that's as in the other case and here const score set score use state and let me copy and paste this because we get the score or we put zero which is the default so if for whatever reason we need to also change the score or show the score Without changing in the form, we already have it in the state and we can show it if needed. And this also avoid any duplication in the submit because we create one answer and according to the fact that it is an existing answer or not, we decide whether to add or update. So now let's continue with the, the thing. So we press add, we call the undo submit. The undo submit will 
in the case of a new answer add in the case of update call this update answer that we need to create mm? and again where do we need to create update answer where do we need to create update answer not in the form where do we create the add answer in app so where do we need to create up that answer in app hmm? because it's there that we have the state so here let me copy vote up because it's actually very very similar and let's call it update answer and we get the full answer and everything else is the same but instead of um, of doing that we will return the new answer so answer.id answer.text answer.name answer.date and answer.score otherwise the old one hmm? so very very similar to the vote up but we need to change everything potentially and not just the score and now we have update answer so we need to pass it down so update answer equal update answer and this is passed to answer so answer we need to pass um, Well, we need to pass also add answer here because we moved props dot add answer and update uh, update answer equal props dot update answer and let me copy this uh, answer table we need to pass it to the form. Here. add answer cancel and update answer update answer will actually work like the add answer mm? so it will in this case get an answer and we'll do props update answer answer and set show form false because it needs to to close the form And then we have in the form. So if everything is done properly, that is a big if. So let's try. So let's try the add. So let's try if we preserve the functionality that we add. And we have a new date here, default. So, okay, the add is working. The vote is working. Let's try the edit. Okay, the edit is opening the form. Let's try to change. Um, I have no idea. So let's try to put a, a more realistic answer. And le let's keep the date. Or well, let's change also the date so that we can see if everything is changing. And apparently everything is working. Mm -hmm. So, and the form is closed. Now, if I press add, what happens? What is this? What is this? The old answer, yes. Before the edit. Because we set up a state. We put in edit answer the answer, the old uh, whatever it was answer. And, and that is still in the state because the state, if you remember, the state is these things here is called only when the component is created. And since we didn't destroy the table, 
but still there, this state is still there. So what we need to do is to clean the editable answer when we update. Okay? So how do, where, do, where do we clean the editable answer when we update? Hmm? Any idea about this? In the props? We when setting the props? This one. Hmm? But this is editable answer, so what can we do? Yes, we can say here, set editable answer empty, again, mm? in the update answer, for instance. And in cancel 2. And in cancel 2. And in add 2. Well, in add, probably not. Well, also in add. Mm? Well, in add, no, because it's, it's, it's empty already, so it's not something. So we need to, to do that multiple times. But let me show another thing. I refresh. So I click here and I see clearly the answer that I want. Uh, what should happen if I click here? The data should change, the data should change but is not. Why is not? It's, it's linked to, to the same problem of, of before, but why is it not changing? Because this is passing the editable answer. So when we click here, we pass this answer. So why is it not changing? But if I click cancel and reopen it, it's working. And similarly, if you press cancel and open it here, it's working. It's just not working when I click here. Why? Where do we set these values? when we define the state in the creation of the form. So, here, we define those values. Exactly. Since it already exists and we don't recreate it, these are never called. And so they keep the value they add. So, when we do this, cancel, we destroy the form. Because we replace the form with the button. So we destroy the component. And when we click the button, add, it will do sh set show form, but this set show form, the show form, but the show form will also create the component. And so we'll call this, all of this, because it's creating the component from scratch. And so when we click cancel and we click here, it will create the component. And so that use state will be called for the first time. But when we click here, we are not destroying the component. The form is already here. We are not removing it like, like this. Hmm? Because here we are recreating the component. So how can we solve also this? 
So one, one option should be immediately uh, available to you. That's probably the longer the complicated answer, but still. So when, doing which operation do we prevent this to happen? So why here does it happen? Because we create and destroy. One step at a time. Um, so here it's work because we create the form from scratch. So one option could be that every time we click here, we destroy the form and recreate it. That is not really, it, it's an option, but so doing the same things that we do for the ad. Mm, creating and destroying. That's not optimal because every time you need to create and destroy, like removing from the component and recreating the component immediately, probably without showing it on screen because you don't want to. And that's the, the things that you can do right now for what you know. There is another way that is something that we never talk about, almost never talk about. Remember keys. Let me find them. Remember keys. Hmm? So we, we defined a key here in the table. And I told you that keys are something that we cannot access to the chi from the children of the component, but it's something that React uses to understand if something is changed in a component that has typically a list. So React, if you put uh, to answer with the same key, React will complain, will give you a warning in the console. Because it's used the keys to understand if you have the same element, if you change elements, if you move elements, it uses it internally to keep track of the state of updates of the component. So keys are, let's say, mandatory for a list table, list, etc., because it's helped React under the hood to do this work. But we can use keys also for forcing a refresh of a component, if we want. Mm -hmm. So we can define a key in the answer form here. So key equal And it should be something unique for, for the form. And what is unique from the data that we have in the form? The ID. The ID. Hmm? So we can say that editable answer. So if we have editable answer, we get the ID of the answer. Otherwise, we need to provide a ID that will represent an uh, empty, for instance, element. So which could, could be an ID that is not valid, let's say, for this collection. Minus one. Yes, yeah, so or a, a string, but it's better minus one. So that's the same type. So by defining a key, hmm, React should be able to solve the problem. So let me refresh. So let's see if this is true. So if I pre click at the first one, it's the first one. I click at the second one, and it updates. Because in that moment, even if we don't recreate the component, React knows that the key has changed. Because the key has changed. Because here, editable answer as ID one. Here, editable answer as ID two. So the key has changed. React notice this and re-render the components. That is a trick that is totally valid that uses the keys to force a re-rendering of a component. So when you have something that is a list or something that a form is in a sense a list because you have multiple input fields, multiple fields. So you have listing data 
at least, not in a tabular format. You can apply a key, and when the key change, React will try to understand if there is a rendering to be done or not. And keys are fundamental if you, for instance, have drag and drops between elements, because React will be able to understand where you are dragging and dropping elements according to the key you are providing to them. So if you don't provide a key or you provide a key that is equal for every element, you will have unpredictable behaviors. Not unpredictable, really unpredictable. So sometimes it would work, sometimes it will not. So keys are mandatory for a list and could be also a solution for this. And in theory, okay, no, here we need to refresh also this because the use state is still, the editable answer is still, is still full. So here we need, in the add, we need to empty this when we uh, submit the form in any case, hmm? in, in from an edit. Hmm? So we need to empty editable answer like we, we said before. Okay? Any questions? Okay, I, I think that for, for today was enough material. So I will finish this cleaning and we'll put it on GitHub, but it's just a set uh, editable answer to empty, uh, to, to clean up things. Um, this is all you need for doing not only this lab, but also next week lab. So this lab will be more about the stuff you have seen on Thursday and the next lab will be more on this part with forms, etc. Not with edit and so on, just with forms, uh, probably adding a new f movie. Um, so, w as a reminder, we don't have class Tuesday, but you have labs uh, both Thursday, this Thursday and next Thursday, and we will meet again here uh, on the 2nd of May. As always, if you have any questions, just write on Telegram or via email or whatever, and I'm still here for 15 minutes for answer to, to any questions. Have a nice day. It's a public answer. Ask. Sorry? No, you have, so the only way to refresh any components is to change the state or acting on the keys. There is no function to explicit to refresh any component. Every? No, in this case, uh, if you want to refresh this, you just need to, when you submit an edit, to empty the edit answer. And that will be empty also the add form, in this case. No, in presence. The exam is in presence. So have a nice rest of the week. <laughs>